He's been in court before, but not as a criminal defendant until now. Door, please. Yeah. State Trooper Jeremy Alt, not yet ready for a walker, knowing he has to be ready for arraignment on vehicular homicide and vehicular manslaughter. The readiness of Anthony Bertram's loved ones for the next phase of this wrenching case took every ounce of strength they could summon. The 36-year-old Goshen man was killed in a head-on crash along 222 on a rainy night last January when Trooper Alt's cruiser went left of center 20 miles over the posted limit. He sat mostly motionless in court, ankles busted, eyes cast down, near Bertram's relatives, including an aunt who cared for Bertram as a boy, holding photos of those days. As Judge Anthony Brock registered Alt's not guilty plea, occasional audible sobs were heard. It's just so hard, our heads are spinning so fast. We're just, uh, we're just really hurt and emotional right now. And we're just, trying to stick together and hold each other up. It's just really hard. Through his attorney, Alt said he thinks about Bertram and his family and what happened every day. I know that this guy is a good man, but it's negligent. Alt was on his way to an OVI run, lights and siren off, when it happened. It's going to be a long recovery and it, it won't really ever, he won't get back to 100%, but um, like I said though, that's the lesser tragedy. Another tearful embrace. There will likely be many more before this one's over. For those living with the pain of this case, the next step in the legal process will be a week from now, a pretrial hearing. In Claremont County, John London, WLWT News 5.